Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video I'm excited to discuss a spindle cable package that I've put together out of basically sheer necessity. I've had so many client requests about discussing what accessories I use to assemble the cables um, and what I wanted to do is really just put together a, a more or less turnkey kit for you guys to assemble your own spindle cables. My spindle cables are really hard to keep in stock and that being said I wanted to give you guys the exact accessories that I use and you can see here's a finished one going to a client now. This one is using the white ceramic connector. Then there's a couple different versions of these. There's the narrow uh, ceramic connector. This is the wider one. Uh, HY is designing new uh, cable connectors and again these I typically use a reduced size uh, as far as length piece of double wall shrink and then I go over it again and you can see here and once again this cable is not butchered this is all the way inserted into the, the actual connector so again nothing has been modified but this extra rigidity that the double wall shrink provides is amazing as far as not allowing so much of a bend towards the base of where the plug actually uh, enters the spindle I do that intentionally and I wanted to include that same shrink with the kits. That being said, on the opposite side where the boot is, I really don't care about the thickness on this shrink. You actually want it to be a little thinner because again, we want to be able to manipulate our leads once it enters the BFD. Um, I also get a lot of questions on the ground lead. What actual, uh, what type of cable I use as far as um, for the ground drain. So what this kit will include and you can see it right here. We've got a piece of silicone wire which is 18 gauge and this will attach to your shield drain. Now you, I do have guys that will say they want to use the shield drain that's actually in the cable and use it directly uh, to attach to the actual uh, ground drain right on the actual spindles uh, connectors for the VFD and that's fine to do but what you'll typically find is that your flexibility on that actual lead is not near as good as silicone. And again, you can see here, this stuff is super, super flexible, and that's why I do it, because again, we are manipulating these leads when they go into the VFD. Um, ring terminals. Your ring terminal sizes that are required, you will require four. You can see them here installed on the cable. They will be included. Uh, four pieces of shrink pre-cut to the ring terminal. So that work's already been done. And then, of course, you're going to get your 10-inch pieces of single wall heat shrink and this is the double wall. Now the double wall, just to clarify because some guys are familiar with it, some guys are not, it has an internal glue that actually bonds to whatever you shrink this to. This is very high quality stuff and again its density is much different than single wall heat shrink. You can see here on your single wall just the thickness and then over here you can see on the double wall and this becomes more like a plastic once it actually uh, cures. So and when I say cure, I mean cool down. So again, you're gonna have enough of the of both types of heat shrink to get the same result you see here. And again, these cables, once they're built right with, this type, with these types of accessories, it makes the whole process smoother. And once again, you've got a very durable cable. And the whole goal here is not to have to butcher the end where the plug goes in. Uh, most guys never have problems with the leads, but they're always worried about, you know, what do I use? You know, what kind of uh, shrink do I use? And I really wanted to put it together in a kit form because I feel that if you guys are purchasing the cable, you're going to require this stuff anyways. It's logical. So, again, I hope that this video has been helpful. If you guys have any questions or require quotes, of course, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. To all my subscribers, guys, of course, I love you. Um, I can't get over how fast the channel is growing and how much support I've had. I thank you all.